I'm Sophie Garrett, and this is Creative Inspiration. Hey guys, Stephanie Garrett here. In today's video, we are going to do a mini unboxing of my new art travel kit bag. And also we're gonna to try to see how much stuff we can put in it. Now, I ordered this bag, excuse the noise, I ordered this bag from Amazon. And this is one of the bags that um, people use for electronics and wires and things like that. And I saw somebody had used this for art supplies and I thought, oh, let me try that. So I ordered the, what color is this? This is the Rose Red. Clearly I like this color. <laughs> look at this one, it's very similar. Wait, let's look at the tablet. So clearly I like this color. And I think it's so cute, so far I'm in love with it. And I just got it in the mail today. So we're gonna open it. Excuse my noise here. Let's open it and take a look. Let's see what we got. So they sent a nice little, uh, little, uh, what are these? Oh, binding wires. Oh, yeah, I guess like Velcro. So you can put things on them. Oh, that's cool. So see, I think that's why it's for like electronics and stuff because they have that on there. So that's cool, which will become in handy for your brushes and all sorts of things that you may want to use it for. Um, excuse my voice. I've been under the weather here a little bit. And I got this case because I am going out of town and I really wanted a really cute art little case to take with me. So I, in my downtime, whether I'm on the plane or in, you know, my family's house that, you know, while everyone is sleeping, I can, you know, take my stuff and put it aside and do my own thing. And it's nice and quiet in the house. That's what I want. <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying, I'm going to try not to overpack it because I am a notorious overpacker. And if you're like me, you love to take just pretty much everything but the kitchen sink. So I figured this is kind of small enough so I won't have to take my entire studio with me. <laughs> so... All right, and that's the little stuff it came in. That's the, this is the name of it. Bubbum, I'm going to say, Bubbum Case. So that's bubbumcase.com. You can get them off of Amazon. And I actually purchased this, and I think it was $15.99. So that's that. And now this is how, look at that. Nice, nice uh, quality zippers here. So let's go ahead and open it. Oh, pretty. Look at that. Nice and um, bright inside. I love it. Nice little pockets for all kinds of stuff. And uh, yeah, you can put all your, your pencils and your markers and stuff in here. Yeah, uh huh. Wait, is that? Let me see. Oh, yeah. So you can slide things in there. Oh, yeah. Slide things in here. I was just trying to see what, what it was here. Slide all your little brushes and stuff. And I'm gonna try to fill it with some stuff too so we can see how much, you know, we can get in here. All right, so now let's see. Oh, look at that, nice little pockets. Little mesh pockets, really cute. That's nice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, look at that. I can probably slide something in there. Yeah, that's really cute. So, kind of basic, but it's nice because it has a lot of little, you know, things you can slip in, in, in there and everything, okay? So let's go ahead and see how much stuff we can get in here. <laughs> hopefully everything, in, including the kitchen sink. Well, maybe not. You know, hopefully everything we need just to, you know, take with us on our trip. I'm actually flying, so I probably won't be able to put a lot of liquids in here. Um, I'll have to st stash those in my uh, check bags. But my brushes and other things I'm going to try to put in here and see, you know, what I can take with me. Also, I'm trying to think, what am I going to have time to do? So when you're putting together your art kit, your travel art kit, think about what is it that you wanna do and how much time are you gonna to have to do? You know, if you're gonna be visiting your family, if you're gonna be, you know, running around the city, are you really gonna have enough downtime to justify taking all this stuff with you? So, and then what happens is you only use it maybe once or twice and you have to lug it all back home with you. So, <laughs> I've done that. <laughs> I know that that's how it works, right? We think we have more time than we actually do because we get, you know, start visiting and, you know, eating and hanging out and everything. And next thing you know, you know, your trip's over with. So let's just try to see what we can take, you know, to um, work on a, a project or two with our art travel kit. Now, I said that I was going to just try to do some art journaling. I wanted to catch up on that because I had been so busy making cars and jewelry for the holidays that I kind of just wanted to take a, a, a down, take a little downtime and just, you know, paint and do some collages maybe with my uh, art journal kit. So 
Um, and I have my Jane Davenport little collage papers here, which are so super cute. I haven't even opened these. I ordered these from Australia, believe it or not. So I'm going to try to put a few of these in my kit. I have a bunch of her, of her other stuff. Let's see. I have my, um, what are these? Let's see. These are the self-adhesive confetti tissues. I'm going to put that in there. My tattoo journals. I'm going to take that. Okay, so let's go ahead and see, uh, you know, what we can stick in our little bubbly case for our art travel, uh, art travel kit. Um, like I said, we have to sort of think about what is it we're going to have time to do and how much stuff we want to take. Now, I don't know if I will be able to do a whole lot on the plane because I'm going to have my son with me. So I'll be tending to him, my husband and I. Um, and he's three and a half, so you know how that is with kids. <laughs> Me trying to rustle him around, <laughs> keep him from flying on the wing of the plane. <laughs> you know how kids are, man, I tell you. <laughs> keep him in line, but... So, you know, uh, if we're lucky enough, he'll take a nap, but I don't think he will. So my thing for trying to do anything on the plane may be, you know, not going to happen. It may not happen. So I'm going to be packing probably for my downtime at home at my family's house like in the evenings when everybody is asleep and I'm the last one up which I usually am and I can just go sit at the kitchen table and I can just you know have some me time so that's what I'm gonna think I'm gonna pack for and I didn't want to take up too many things here like I said I have these oh, I have my confetti tissues too I'm gonna take so I have my other stuff that I showed earlier oh and I have these things here yeah these are my um, these are packaging oh, I'm gonna reuse these and maybe stick these in my journal. So we'll see, maybe I can, you know, paint gesso over them. Um, I can put my um, collage papers on them with some paint, and I think that'll look really, really cool. Especially like if you do the back of it, and uh, it looks really cool. So I'm gonna do that. And I also have some nice little um, Tim Holtz Ideology Big Chat Words, which these are great. I just got these. And they have, um, you know, nice little sayings in them, and they come in black and white, which is really cool. So I'm going to take actually two journals. Now this one comes in its own case. This is my Jane Davenport. This is actually a travel journal. And, and then I already kind of have a few things in here, but like I said, I haven't had much time, so I just kind of put it together. So this is kind of what, you know, you can put your uh, collages in here and your sketches and all of your, you can actually paint on these and see, I already stamped it. <laughs> That's cool, huh? Um, you know, I put some paper, decorative paper on that, and the pockets here, and also have some um, some some washi tape, washi tape. So, and I have my stencils in here as well. So I'm going to be using those on. Um, I'm going to be using these in the journal that I'm going to take, but I'm also going to be journaling, journaling with this because I can put this in my purse because this is small enough I can stick this in my purse, and I have my little tags on there. <laughs> That's cute. So, I like that one a lot. That's like my favorite thing ever. And like I say, I haven't had time, so I'm gonna try to make some time to, you know, um, work on this. Cause I really enjoy, I'm starting to really enjoy art journaling now, along with all the other things that I'm doing. So I'm gonna have, this is actually gonna be the journal I'm gonna take. It's a small one. I think this one's a six by nine size. So it's brand new and I have never used it. So it's all blank, really pretty, really nice. So I'm gonna use this one as my, um, for my journaling and my collages and stuff. And like I said, um, I have some napkins that I've purchased. These were, I got these at, where did I get these at? I got these a Tuesday morning. And they're so pretty, I literally couldn't walk out the door. And I'm like, you know, $3 for napkins, actually, yeah. But they're so pretty, I don't, I didn't care. <laughs> Look at that. So I'm gonna take a few of these. What I'm gonna do is take a few of each napkin so I can do some collages because I'm not, I don't know what, it, what exactly I wanna do. Look at the mermaid, isn't it pretty? I'm gonna take a few of these and I'm gonna have, you know, some options. Cause I always like to say I like, I'm a girl who likes options. So that's that one. And I have this one too, I'm gonna take. I love these, these are napkins. Look how pretty that is. Wouldn't that make a beautiful collage? Oh my God. And I might even try one of these in the big journal when I come back. So I think that that's really beautiful and I have an idea of what I wanna do with that one. But they were so pretty, so. And I might probably give some of these away because I, clearly I'm not going to use this many of them, but I just, just love them. They're so beautiful, right? And I have some other ones. So I'm going to take a few different ones to see, uh, you know, what exactly I want to do. Like the peacock is really pretty and this one is really nice. Look at this one. This one's pretty. 
this uh, kind of throwback stamp vintage look. I love that. Now, if I do that, I'm trying to think I'm going to probably have to have a folder with papers in it, but I'll have to get to that. So I'm going to see what we're going to squeeze into our bubble case for our art travel kit. OK, now we got to try to organize it because we have a few things here and I think let me see, that's not going to fit, right? Oh, OK. Well, you know what? Some things won't fit and some things will. So whatever fits, that's what we're going to put in here. OK, so let's stick that in there. We're going to try some stuff. OK, I kind of almost want to fit. I don't think that that's going to fit in there. Huh? that's too big. OK, but you know what? I can zip it up like that, I guess. What I'm going to do is just put my these are my brushes here. And uh, so my Jane Davenport brushes, my mermaid brushes with the little mermaid tails. These are just standard uh, art brushes. OK, so I'm trying to see what I can fit into my art travel kit here. And the gessos, uh, small gessos and the glue fit really well. And I managed to get some scissors, uh, some edge scissors on this side, some brushes and uh, some other scissors here, brushes. Which is nice, but you could probably slip a uh, slip some other things in there because I'm just taking some basic things, you know, and I, it, it doesn't have to be really packed, I guess. But if you were like traveling in a car, you could probably put everything in here. But I'm just going to put a few things because some of the stuff is a little too big to put in here. So I'm going to have to have like this is going to be my other little zip case from my uh, longer brushes and stuff like that. I could put these in here. This is from um, Blue Q. This is a cool Blue Q bag. I've had this for quite a long time. I just love it. Look how bright and pretty that is, right? That's really cool. I have a few of these uh, zip, zip bags, these uh, little clutch looking bags. Those are really cool. So I'm going to have to put some stuff in, in this bag here. But for my art tra our travel kit here, I also had this little case here. In, in from, is that how we say it? Little, um, you know, things for my collages. I might actually, you know what I might just do? I might put some napkins in here, fold them really nice because I'm only taking a few um, just to keep them from getting wrinkled and everything. So we'll see how that goes. But I guess you could probably, you know, that's like a lot. That's kind of fat and juicy, <laughs> maybe a little too fat. And uh, let's see, what else can I put in here? Hmm. OK, you can probably slip something like this in here if you want to take that. This will work too. this one. Oh, yeah, there you go. Let's just try to see how much stuff we can get in here. What else can I put in here? Um, how about another pair of edge scissors? Let's see. I think that'll work. Think that'll work. Yep, there you go. Another pair of edge scissors. Oh, is that too fat? That's too fat. Let's put it on this side. Oh, yeah, there you go. So you got two. Let's try to see, because you know what? This has a lot of nice little pockets, so you can put a, a number of things in here. And I still have some other stuff in here. So like if I wanted to take all my tweezers and stuff and my little, you know, paper cutter and what else do I have? I have some, a bunch of other stuff I could probably put in here. Let's, let's get these in there just for extra stuff to use. And um, yeah, so you can put a number of things in there. Oh, you can. I would put if I were traveling in a car, I would actually put my markers in here. But because they are, um, I'll show you real quick. Because they are the Jane Davenport liquid markers, I probably cannot put these in my carry on on the airplane because they are liquid. So I'm going to probably have to stick them in my blue Q bag here. So these will fit really well. Or even my, um, I have a Jane Davenport little zip case, uh, zip pouch as well. So I can probably put those in there. So that way I won't take too many things, but I'll take what I need to, just to get some stuff done, you know. So that's about it. Um, I'm going to try to put some of these in there, but let's go ahead and see if we can zip this up. You know, because we don't want to take a er, take everything. I'm trying to think of what else I could put in here that I would want to take. Huh. But you know what? Look at that. It's pretty stuffed as it is. That might be too much stuff already. <laughs> are we going to use all this? <laughs> so that's what I mean. If you pack this, if you pack it with everything you need, are you really going to use all this? So you might want to think about that when you get your art travel kit, you know? Um, so we can always stick stuff in here, obviously, and, you know, put all kinds of stuff in there. So we're going to try to zip it up and see how it looks. Well, there you go. Look, it looks up nice. Look at that. Easy breezy. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I'll put that in there. Oh, cute. Look at that. Really cute. Nice and compact. And it's full. 
for the most part. I mean, like I said, I'm just tasting, taking, ba I'm just taking basic things. I don't want to take everything in the kitchen sink because I know I can't overpack. Trust me, just ask my husband. <laughs> Over the years, man, had a lot of uh, irritated people irritated with me taking too much stuff. So I'm just gonna probably take this and this and then this other little pile here. Okay, so that's gonna be my my travel. Let's put some stuff in here. So let's go ahead and see if this fits in here. So we have our little, you know, case going on here. A little art travel kit we'll be going to travel with for the most part. I should probably have gotten my Jane Davenport um, pouch out so I can put my markers in there because I really want to and I'm going to put some um, little things inside of here for my collages and my journals because I don't want to leave home without those. And then I can always stick these inside of here. And that's that. Look at that. Nice and Packed, stack packed and ready to go. Okay, I picked up the napkins or collage uh, papers that I'm gonna use, the serviettes that I use for collages. I'm gonna, I always take extra just cause, you know, in case one messes up or I can use the other one or I can, you know, tear them up and use them for different things. So, and these are so beautiful. Gosh, I could just love these, right? And uh, I'm gonna take a couple of the Jane Davenport ones. Okay, so I have a few of those. And then I'm going to um, take some of these. These are so super pretty. So, because I don't really know, you know, what I want to do. So I'm going to just take a few of everything, a few of each of these, just to see, you know, which direction I want to go. But yeah, I'm going to do that because they're super pretty. I wonder should I fold them, probably, huh? And I can stick them in my little, I'll probably put them even in a little plastic bag and save this box. Although, <laughs> so... I think I'm going to use the box for some, um, you know, other little things I want to take, like the book pages I have. I'm going to probably take these out of here and stick them in there. Or I can just slide them in the side. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to take the whole package, but I'm going to take a few because I really want to work with these. And I have some little flowers I want to take, you know, some little um, accents, as they call them. Those are super cute. I have the Tim Holtz um, version here. So I might just pick a bunch of them and put them in the box, you know, just dump them in the box and take them and use whatever I have. That'll be really cool. And I thought about even taking some flowers, but I'm debating. I might just have to leave them just like this. And I have a feeling that <laughs> I'll probably bring them back just like this. So that's what I mean. Think about what you want to do and have time for and all that. So, but uh, that's a possibility, but mm, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what I have room for, but I don't want to bring all this stuff, you know? So I have some, just some basic stuff. I have some more of the accents here, the layered accents. These are really super pretty too. So just put a few of those in there. And, you know, there's a bunch of other little things you can stick in there. Maybe just take the flowers out of the package and stick them in the box. That's a good idea. Yeah, you can just, you know, have your whole little box and put your tape in there. There you go. And, um... Uh, I even have some more uh, stencils. So if you get, you know, decide to get bored and you want, don't want to use your stencils that you have, you can just have a couple extras. They don't take up too much room. Okay, so let's close our box. Part of our little kit here. And uh, so I'm putting all my little stuff together here. I might even, um, oh, here, look, this is a Jane Davenport uh, zipper pouch. I brought this over. And I'll put my mermaid markers in here. So let me try to get them out for you. I'm gonna reach over and get them out. All right, let's see. Put those in there. See, look at that. I got them all in there, most of them. And of course, I'm gonna be buying some new ones when I get to where I'm going. <laughs> if I can find them in the store, because you know they're hard to find, the newer ones. And uh, got my paint over pens. So just in case, I'm gonna take these. And there you go. All nice and snug in my little Jane Davenport pouch. Okay, so that's cute. And I have this pouch. I can stick the stencils in here too. Look at that. Put them kind of on top so they won't be rolling around. Like I said, um, this might even fit in here too. But I'm not going to take that just to show. I'm just doing it to show you. And um, that's kind of it. That. Let's see what I want. So let's see what we have. Do we have too, we have too much stuff? <laughs> So we got our journal and our words, okay? We got our bubble case, 
with all of our stuff inside of it. Supplies and gessos and glues. We have our paint of our pens and our um, wall markers. And we have our little case with our extras in it, our accents and flowers and whatever else you want to put in there. And I guess if you want to take your tablet, you have that. And that's it. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see how many. Do we have too much stuff? <laughs> Let's see. You probably do. <laughs> okay. So I got my two journals. Okay. I got my two cases. Three cases. All right. Let's get this paper out of the way. And my three cases. All right. All right. One, two, three. Um, so I'm going to put the new Jane Davenport uh, Glit C palette in my kit as well. It's some beautiful colors. I already used it, as you can tell. <laughs> so I'm going to use that because um, I have my mermaid markers and uh, my gesso. So I need some paint. And these are just brand new, actually. These are the Prima Decadent Pies. Also a little mini unboxing because <laughs> this I haven't even used this yet. See, look at that. It's brand new. Oh, wait, let's see. Can I get it for you in the camera? <laughs> Uh, I'm messing it up here. All right. Yeah, see? Brand new. Haven't even opened it yet. I'm looking forward to using these. These are really pretty. So I'm going to put these in the kit as well. So I have some paint. I have some gesso, some markers, and some paint over pens. And um, I might even take a spray bottle because I want to be able to paint the little, at least paint over some stuff and let it sit and dry for a day or so. And then, you know, um, make it work. So I'm going to put these two in my travel, my art travel kit as well. I think I'm going to stick them in here because they're kind of small. So you can just stick them in your pouch and there you go. Along with your um, serviettes and your brushes and um, your other little accents that you have in there. That's what I have in mine. So because I don't want to take too much stuff, but I definitely want to take enough stuff to where I can get some work done. You know, make some projects, uh, make some beautiful projects because I have an idea, a lot, several ideas to make some things, but I just haven't had the time recently. So I'm going to take some time on my trip to um, journal and art. And um, maybe I'll uh, unveil that to you at some point. It'll definitely be on my Instagram and when I do. So maybe I want to pop over there and join at Stephanie G3360 on Instagram and my Twitter uh, at, at Stephanie G3360 on my Twitter. So you can pop over there and from time to time and check out my latest uh, projects that I'm going to have, you know, when I'm finished with things, jewelry or paintings or cards or whatever, I always uh, post them over there. So you can take a look at that. So I think that's actually a good amount of stuff. Actually, that's just enough, I think. Right. That's just enough. That'll, that'll get me by for eight days. I think eight days worth of stuff. Seven days. I think well, by about eight by the time we're you know done all said and done but yeah so eight days all right so that's technically our art travel kit or mine <laughs> this is my first one so yes i'm probably taking too much stuff <laughs> i'm probably going to streamline this over time just because i don't want to you know continue to i'd rather have just like one bag to take everything actually i have a bigger bag to take everything in but it doesn't have a zipper on it and i want something with a zipper so I'm gonna have to find another bigger bag to like to put all this stuff in, you know what I mean? But for right now, this is what I have. So I'm gonna put this in a backpack and carry it on the plane with, with, the, with the exception of the liquid stuff. So wait till my husband sees this. He's gonna say, this is all you're taking? Oh my God, what's wrong with you? Like, that's it. This is my little pile of stuff. It's gonna go right in my backpack. Uh, some of it is actually gonna go in the check baggage, but uh, the most of it is gonna go in my backpack. So that's it. I'm kind of happy about that. I'm kind of excited about that. So yay. <laughs> all right. So we're all good. All right. First art travel kit. Yeah. Actually, you know what? This, because the first time I did this, I took way more stuff than this. So I'm kind of proud of myself that I got just this. Okay. <laughs> and I know a lot of y'all probably have even less than that. You're more minimalist than I am. And that's good for you because I'm not like that. I need to be, but I'm not like that. But I'm going to work on it. Okay. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed my little fun uh, unboxing, mini unboxing and my showing you uh, my art travel kit. I hope you had a great time. I hope you had fun watching my video and I will catch you next time. Ciao. Bon voyage.